So, um, how to add additional pylon tech batteries to existing setup? I already had two, I'm adding additional two. I've seen some movies on YouTube on uh, how to balance them, but they, they missed a big thing that the uh, important factor that wasn't mentioned, <laughs> uh, which it's just, which can, uh, you can stumble on as, as well as I did. And so what would you do? Uh, basically disconnect everything. They do hold their own power so they, they can switch on without any additional cables. And then when you add extra batteries, like we have them here, what you would do, you would then connect them all together in those pairs. And the next thing, uh, switch them on one by one. So they had to be switched off previously, obviously. So, and after that, you press the switch on each of them. So that was the part never mentioned. You press the switch, then they switch on, and then what's, what starts happening is those lights start going up, which means that this one is now charging, this one's now charging, and those guys actually charging those guys, which means on the end of the process, they will all have the same amount of power in them, the same voltage, we would be able to check it. And afterwards, uh, we can then plug them to the controller and have additional 4.8 kilowatts available uh, for usage, which should take us over every day. So we don't have to use any other power than the off-peak 5 pence a kilowatt hour that we are using for those batteries. So that's the trick. Thank you for listening.